Hi there, Carl Brown here with you. Welcome to my YouTube channel and let's take a trip down my time tunnel. Hi, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, we're looking this time in the month of May when everything goes upside down, it starts getting warm. And one of the big things that took place during that month of May here is the summer bank holiday, um, actually May bank holiday, when everyone comes together. The place is warm and it was the Guyana Folk Festival, bringing Guyanese from all walks of life together to get together, have a good time and celebrate. It was good and the Folk Festival is hosted most of the time by the Ghana UK, Ford, Ghana UK Sports Association Development, DOSCA. They got together and made it something happening every year and it's crowded. There were cultural activities, there were lectures, there were um, bouncy castles, there were areas for the kids. There a lot was happening there and then there, and one of the interests that I, I liked even more, I went into the Starbrook Market area and the Starbrook Market they created is where Everything you need from Guyanese is there, from the Guyanese foods, of course, the entire country arts are there. They had people doing barrels, there was everything, shoes, you name it, chow mein. oh wow, it was great. And it's a good coming together of bringing Guyanese together on that. One day, um, there's another activity coming up in August as well, but that Guyana Folk Festival is the thing, it's the daddy of them all. And I didn't meet with a Trinidadian artist because of course it wasn't just Guyana alone. We did have people from all around this Chutney Soka and there's one Trinidadian artist. <laughs> Be careful what I'm saying. He's Trinidadian and him his name is Nigel Pertar. And Nigel worked out some Chutney Soka, that was really interesting. I'll tell you a little bit more about him. Check this out. <laughs> Um, my name is Dinesh Rapta, uh, better known as Nigel Rapta. Everybody knows me as Nigel here in the UK. Um, yeah, I've started um, growing up in a musical, talented family and um, started playing drumming, Tassa drumming with my, my uncles and my granddad and stuff in the Dragon Boys Tassa group. And at the age of nine, I started that. And um, come age of 18 years, I started moving out to the outside world and stuff and started my singing um, entertainment. Career and obviously I started doing Japanese music, soca music, all these sort of different type of music as well. So it's quite diverse and I just love music is my life. I just love to do tassa, I love to do singing, I love to do everything. And here in the UK, I'm just like, I left all my family behind, I'm all on my own. So I'm just quite happy to meet like fellow, fellow um, friends and stuff from all over the UK who come together and play tassa with us as well. And you know, it's just a matter of, it's a hobby that I enjoy, I've got a passion for it and I just, I love to do it. If I have a chance, if you know, if life permits, and I can do it every single day of my life, I'd love to, rather than working a nine-to-five job. Do you know what I mean? So, right. I mean, you're from Trinidad. Yeah. I say you originally from Trinidad because Trinidad to the bone. Trinidad to say. the bone. That's me. Yeah, but what was amazing is that I saw your performance there, and it's like the dynamism that came out. I mean, would you say that that is something? That, was it just from you, or was it just the term? Well, it is. It is. As I say, I've, I'm coming from a musical, musical talented family. Yeah. I've got music in my blood, in my veins, <laughs> so it does yeah. flow. But I've got like, um, I've got influence from my from my uncle as well, Hiro Lara right. who is obviously a professional Chapman singer back mm -hmm. in Trinidad. And also all the different, you know, artists from Trinidad, they've got a wide variety, you know, like all the different bands, you know, Dan, K.I. and Trevaney and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I just like follow all their music and just, I just love all the culture. So I just try to keep updated with it. Even though I'm in the UK, my heart is back in Trinidad, so. Let's talk about the recording side of things. Have you got any sort of recordings out at the moment? No, or no, is this, no recording. You have not. As I say, recording. it's just it's just been a hobby for me. At the all moment, the time at the moment. Do you yeah. see yourself getting into the recording industry? I would love to. Or some, <laughs> like, um, getting a little. I would higher? love to, but you know, if, to get into that, you need like the, you need that avenue to get into. You need somebody to. To take you, to put, take you in to the other level because I can't do it on my own. I mean, so yeah, but all I know it was a damn good show and I <laughs> thought it was you. good. Thank you very much. And I hope you keep it up. I definitely will. I've been keeping it up for the last 10, 20 years. So really. 
Just Tommy, get teaser. you on the road, right? <laughs> nice talking to you too. Nice talking to you, thank Good you very much. Right. All in all, it was a fantastic event. And with that, I'll say thank you for looking. Thank you for joining me. Feel free to subscribe and like. Yes, so I'll be around again. And it was good. And that's a bit for you on the Ghana Folk Festival here, 2018 in the United Kingdom. Carl Singh. Have a good time. We'll catch you later.